The Melbourne International Film Festival is an annual film festival held over three weeks in Melbourne, Australia. It was founded in 1952 and is one of the oldest film festivals in the world. MIF is one of Melbourne's four major film festivals, in addition to the Melbourne International Animation Festival MIAF, Melbourne Queer Film Festival MQFF, and Melbourne Underground Film Festival MUF. As of 2017, the festival's artistic director is Michelle Carey. History Melbourne is a significant city in the history of film. The story of the Kelly Gang, 1906, the world's first full length feature film, was filmed in the city. Established in 1952, the Melbourne International Film Festival is one of the oldest film festivals in the world and has become the most notable screen event in Australia. An iconic Melbourne event, the festival takes place annually in various theatres in the Melbourne CBD, presenting an acclaimed screening programme including films from local and international filmmakers, alongside industry events. Overview MIF is the largest film festival in both Australia and the Southern Hemisphere, and is Australia's largest showcase of new Australian cinema. The 2012 festival generated $8 million for the Victorian economy. As of 2013, the festival is accredited by the American Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the Australian Film Institute, and the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. As of 2013, the festival's CEO is Maria Amato, Carey is the artistic director, and Mark Woods is MIFF's industry director, executive producer. Topic program In 2013, the festival program consisted of the following categories, International Panorama, a hand-picked selection of World Cinema Telescope, curated program of 12 new films from 12 European Union countries Australian Showcase, New Australian Cinema Next Gen, a program of films aimed at younger audiences Accent on Asia, Showcase of films from Asia Pacific region inside the DPRK, two film exploring life within North Korea Juche Showtime, films of the DPRK North Korean cinema defying the times, activism on film, films on political activism documentaries A League of Their Own, New Arabic Cinema, films from the Pan-Arabic World States of Play, American Independence, Independent Cinema from the United States Masters and Restorations, documentaries on filmmaking and film restorations Backbeat, music films Animation Shining Violence, Italian Giallo, films of the Italian Giallo subgenre Night Shift, Thriller, Horror and Gore Movies This Sporting Life, Sporting Films Short film packages, short film category that features the accelerator programs Emerging Filmmakers, Best MIF Short Screening, Best Short Films of the Festival selected by the MIF Shorts Awards Jury and the MIF Shorts Awards Ceremony see, hashtag competition pre-feature shorts, short films featured prior to feature film screenings special events, includes the opening night feature film and a screening at the Melbourne Planetarium Talking Pictures, Discussion and Q&A events with the festival's filmmakers and personalities MIF Premier Fund, Australian films supported by the MIF Premier Fund 37 degrees south, c. Hash 37 degrees south market. Topic. Venues The festival is conducted across various venues located in Melbourne and in 2013 the following venues were used, Australian Centre for the Moving Image, Forum Theatre, Greater Union Cinemas, Mandala Festival Wine Bar, Hoyts Melbourne Central, The Arts Centre Melbourne, Kino Cinemas, Wheeler Centre, Village Roadshow Theatret, and Speakeasy Cinema. Topic. 37 degrees South Market The 37 Degrees South Market is the only international film financing marketplace to take place during a film festival in Australia or New Zealand The event occurs during the opening days of the festival and is a forum for around 45 invited sales agents, distributors to meet with up to 100 pre-selected Australian and NZ producers who are seeking co-financing support. As of 2013, the 37 Degrees South Market is also the exclusive partner of the London's Production Finance Market for Australia and NZ. 
As of 2013, the 37 degrees south market has attracted companies such as, Studio Canal, Wild Bunch, Paramount Pictures, BBC Films, Hanway, Independent, Miramax Films, Visit, Bankside, The Works, One, Cargo, West End, Aver, Level K. Topic. Film competitions Since 1962, MIF has staged a short film competition, as well as numerous feature film award categories. It also presents audience popularity awards for feature film and documentary. The festival's inaugural award was Best Short Film, but the title was changed to Grand Prix for Best Short Film in 1965. From 1985 onwards, the Grand Prix has been officially presented by the City of Melbourne. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Feature Film Awards. People's Choice Award for Best Feature. People's Choice Award for Best Documentary. Telescope Best European Feature Award. The Age Critics Award presented by the Age Newspaper. Topic. Short Film Awards City of Melbourne Grand Prix for Best Short Film $10,000 Film Victoria Irwin Rado Award for Best Australian Short Film $7,000 Swinburne Award for Emerging Australian Filmmaker $5,000 Cinema Nova Award for Best Fiction Short Film $5,000 Holmes Glenn Award for Best Animation Short Film $5,000 BBC Knowledge Award for Best Documentary Short Film $5,000 The Astor Theatre Award for Best Experimental Short Film $5,000 Jury Special Mention as of 2013, the MIF Short Film Awards are accredited by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the British Academy of Film and Television Arts BAFTA, and the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts AACTA, and winners in the Best Short, Best Fiction, Best Animation and Best Documentary categories are eligible to submit their films for Academy Award consideration. The judges for the 2013 MIF Short Film Awards were Lauren Clark, Michael Matrenza and Ramona Telekakin. Topic: <laughs> Winners of Grand Prix for Best Short Film. Topic: <laughs> Rabia Kader Film Controversy. During the 58th Festival in 2009, the controversial film The Ten Conditions of Love 2009, which documents the life of the exiled Uyghur leader Rabia Kader, was screened despite many attempts by the government of China which labels her a terrorist to have the film withdrawn from the festival. Chinese filmmakers withdrew their films from the festival two days before it opened on 24 July 2009. Former MIF director Richard Moore refused to remove the film from the festival program, despite the hacking of the festival website and attempts to hack its online ticketing system from IP addresses of Chinese origin. Later, both pro-Chinese and pro-Uyghur activists attempted to disrupt ticketing due to the media coverage. The festival website was hacked soon after the launch of its 2009 program, with information replaced with the Chinese flag and anti-cater slogans. Victoria Police was placed on alert during the screening of the film and pro-Uyghur demonstrators also gathered outside the Melbourne Town Hall. The Dalai Lama also sent a message of support via Michael Danby, the member of the Parliament of Australia for Melbourne Ports. The government of China attempted to have the film withdrawn from the festival, going to the extent of contacting Robert Doyle, the Lord Mayor of Melbourne. Doyle, however, refused to intervene. Australia's ambassador to China Jeff Raby was summoned by China's Deputy Foreign Minister Zhang Jijun to express displeasure about Kadir's attendance at MIF. <laughs> Looking for Eric controversy In June 2009, Ken Loach, Paul Laverty writer, and Rebecca O'Brien pulled their film Looking for Eric from the festival because the Israeli embassy was a sponsor and the festival declined to withdraw their sponsorship. 
Moore compared Loach's tactics to blackmail, stating that we will not participate in a boycott against the State of Israel, just as we would not contemplate boycotting films from China or other nations involved in difficult long-standing historical disputes. <laughs> Melbourne Underground Film Festival Muff. In 2000, MIFF's rejection of a feature film written and directed by Richard Wollstonecroft led him to form the Melbourne Underground Film Festival Muff. In subsequent years, Muff has attracted controversy by criticizing the content of MIF, as well as its management, specifically the leadership of former directors. Muff prioritizes and declares that he has a mandate, as a space for exciting and edgy Australian cinema that may not be played at MIF. See also Film festival List of film festivals List of short film festivals St Kilda Short Film Festival Cinema of Australia <laughs>